Hi, recently I have encountered an increase in the number of large hospital systems balance billing individuals who have both a commercial policy and a Medicare Advantage policy. They seem to think that they can balance bill these patients with impunity. I am highlighting this today so that patients are not taken advantage of and institutions do not place themselves in jeopardy for balanced billing. We know that Medicare is the secondary payer when an individual has a commercial policy as well as Medicare. Medicare secondary payer is the term generally used when the Medicare program does not have primary payment responsibility. That is, when another entity has the responsibility for paying before Medicare. The Medicare secondary payer provisions have protected Medicare trust funds by ensuring that Medicare does not pay for items and services that certain health insurance or coverage is primarily responsible for paying. If the commercial policy does not pay in full for services, Medicare may make a secondary payment for Medicare covered services up to the Medicare approved amount. If a commercial policy denies payment for services because those services are not covered by the plan, Medicare may pay for these services if these services are covered by Medicare. Providers and healthcare institutions having agreed to accept assignment when contracting with Medicare, have also agreed to accept Medicare allowable charges for services and procedures. Medicare does not allow balanced billing. Balanced billing is billing a patient for the difference between the allowable charge and the provider's usual fee schedule. Again, I have encountered a number of large hospital systems balanced billing individuals who have both a commercial policy and a Medicare Advantage policy. Here's an example. A physician orders a CT without contrast of the abdomen and pelvis for a patient. The patient's commercial insurer, Independence Blue Cross, refused to pay for the CT because the patient had not met the deductible. The patient's Medicare Advantage insurer, Aetna Medicare, authorized the CT. The patient received the CT and is billed the following. Total charges are $3,395 for a CT of the abdomen. An adjustment from Blue Cross because of Blue Cross's discount for the CT is $1,293.49. Aetna's Medicare payment is $142.42, the Medicare allowable charge. So total insurance payments and adjustments came out to $1,435.91. The hospital system said the payment due is $1,959.09. Initial communications with the billing hospital resulted in no change in their attitude concerning the demand for payment. Later communication suggested that they are balanced billing and not honoring their agreement with Medicare. This finally results in them accepting the Medicare allowable charge as payment for the CT. Unfortunately, the billing hospital, without intervention, would have continued to aggressively demand payment from the patient for $1,959.09. ,009. 
So there is a problem. When patients have commercial policies and Medicare Advantage policies, the hospital systems seem to think they can get away with murder. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.